So the sons of the prophets said to the man of God, there is a house in Jordan. Let's go and live in the house in Jordan. Let us go to Jordan and let everyone there take what? A beam. And let us do what? Build a house. So sir, their house was first of all going to be given to them as raw material. Your blessings most times don't come as finished products. They come as raw materials. There are finished blessings you are praying for that God has given you the raw material to produce. But you are busy telling God, I need you to give me this finished product. God says, no, I cannot do for you what you are supposed to do because I have given you what it takes to do it. Raw material of ideas is already inside your head. You are asking God, give me the blessing. God says, no, the raw material, I gave you the raw material. It is for you to discover the raw material, refine it so that it can become a product. Most times when God wants to move a man, he blesses him with raw materials, not finished product. Yes, sir. The idea is so that you can grow. Nobody grows with finished products. He's not punishing you. He's telling you, find the raw material. He said, you're going to process it. And you're saying, God, I just wish I could wake up in the morning. And as I'm opening the door, there's this Lamborghini in front of my house, God. And God said, you know what? That business I've given you can produce a Lamborghini. I don't want to bless you and you become stupid. So I'm going to use that business to train you on how you can manage resources. I'm going to train you on how you will know what you need and what you don't need. I'm going to use the raw material material not just for it to become a finished product for the raw material to process you not just for you to process the raw material so when you are done processing it your prayer points will change from lamborghini to a car that can help me do business and god says this small business i've given you my blessing is on it my blessing is on this business so i'm gonna work this thing you find out that as you begin to work on your raw material god begins to process you. your faith begins to grow you begin to trust god for anything at that point in time you begin to discover the things you don't need the people you don't need. You are a lot more focused. There are blessings you are going to look back on and thank God they did not come when you wanted it. God, thank you. Thank you. You didn't give me this 200 million when I wanted it. Because between me and you, you will blow it. But right now that God has passed you through a process. Even as I'm talking right now, you say, God, <laughs> the next 100 million I will jam. You already know where to invest it, where to put it, how to deploy it because you have been trained for it. God does not want to bless untrained people who squander his resources and make him look like a God that forsakes his own. You're a very friendly person. It's a raw material. God says, don't step into the marketplace and you lose your friendliness. In the marketplace, they call it interpersonal skills. It's your raw material. You just have a way wherever you go to. You have a way of making people. You can connect with people. People can deliver on assignment. That's just the way you are. Even when you were growing up, that's the way you sat with your fellow brothers and sisters. You are the life of the party. But whenever you come, everybody just seems to things, things revolve around you. In the marketplace, they call it a team player. It is your raw material. Once it's not your family member, once you go out there, it will become dumb, deaf and dumb. But you know that that thing is in you. That's how you've been hiding. You've been hiding for a long time. Use it. Your own you didn't need to learn it. It is for local. I've often said it. Do you realize that there were people that while growing up, they were everywhere. It used to annoy us. Stay one place. Bazaar queen. Stay one place. Full of God. Such people, haven't you discovered? They have buzzed into their next level. And you yourself that have been quiet. You have been quiet. Say, no, sir. You know, I'm taking my time. Opportunities will come here. You say, no, until they give me. If they don't give me me, I don't like to ask. In this present world, better ask who. Did you hear what I just said? If you see what you can do, Step out and say, I can do this. There are only two answers you will get. Either a yes or a no. Look at your neighbor. Say neighbor. It's in a raw material. And it is inside of you. If you understand it, can you turn that louder? Amen.